If you want to insert a table into a presentation into a Google Doc, you could create the table in the Doc itself, but that is really a bit clunky. It's okay, but if you want to update it, especially if you want to do some figures, you want to put some numbers in, it's a bit messy. Let me delete that. So what I like to do instead is actually link a table straight from a Google Sheet. Now Google Sheets, are really made for tables and so they're really nice for formatting as well. So first of all, I can just select the top cell, hold my shift key down and then down to the bottom cell that I want and do copy. That would be on a Mac that's Command C or on a Windows that's Control C or I'll simply just go, go edit and copy. And now over to here and I can paste that. That's Control V or Command V or else simply paste here. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I can leave it unlinked, which is really just a copy, or else I can keep it linked to the spreadsheet, which means that if I update the spreadsheet, change its colors, add some new figures, add some columns, whatever, then that gets updated in my presentation in the Google Doc. And that's what I want to do. So I'm going to click paste here. Still not very pretty, but what I'm going to do is go back to my Google Sheet. And here I'm going to fix some formatting here. So I'll give that some nice background. And go over to here. And we want to mark those rows. I could make this centered. and so on we could use alternate colors there's a lot of other things that we can do now if i go back into my google doc i can hit update and that shows me my new table all nicely formatted and now if i go and make some changes to this if i my numbers for friday were six and three and i update that then that will get updated here. I can just click that update button again and you'll see that those Friday numbers get changed. Which is great. There's a, a lot more that you can do. You can change the range of the cells from the original. If I wanted to add in some totals here, for example. So I'm going to change that range. And then that will include the totals as well. And if you want to insert a chart, like a bar chart or a column chart or a pie chart, then check out this video here where I show you how to insert a chart into a Google Doc.